This is Edexcel GCSE Biology, syllabus statement 254, the transport section relating to plants, and we're looking at the evaporation of water from the surface of a plant, a process called transpiration. Now, of course, for evaporation to occur where water will go from the liquid phase to the gas phase, we're going to require heat. And that heat is provided by sunlight as it's absorbed by the leaf structure. So the sunlight, the light energy, is converted into heat as the structure of the leaf absorbs the light. So the, the liquid water will be turned into the gas and then the evaporation is through the stomatal pores. So on the diagram here, you'll recall that water is taken up in the root system by osmosis, travels up through the stem, out through the petiole, and now we're seeing the evaporation of the water here through the stomatal pores. And the sunlight warming the leaf, creating the heat for the change in water from the liquid to the gas phase so that it can escape by evaporation. If we look at the cross section of the leaf, we can see this in a little bit more detail. So sunlight is coming down here for photosynthesis and not all of that light will be absorbed by the chloroplasts. Some of it will be absorbed by the other cell structures and will generate some heat. And the water is being delivered into the leaf here from the xylem, which we can see here, moves through the spongy mesophyll, and then here, just above the stomatal pore, it's here. Let me just emphasize that a bit more. There, that the phase change occurs from liquid to gas, the evaporation. However, then what occurs is that the gas, water vapor gas, diffuses through the pore down a fairly steep diffusion gradient. So the sunlight warms the leaf the first thing. The second thing is the change of the water from the liquid phase into the gas phase and the third thing is the diffusion of the water vapor through the stomatal pore to the outside atmosphere down a diffusion gradient.